Howdy everyone, my name is Benjamin from Benjamin's Outdoor Adventures and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about hunter safety. Earlier this morning we had a pretty intense fog bank rolling in I regretted not recording it for y'all or doing a video on the spot right there. But I had to go wake up, I had to wake up. And in any case, I just came to mind the, po the possibilities of hurting, of injuring yourself, misidentifying an animal, or possibly shooting somebody in the fog. If you're hunting in the forest, um, in some forests, the fog may intensify and you can't see much further than a few feet or a few yards. Because of that, you may misidentify some animals for others and accidentally shoot them, or they could be further away than they actually are. As well, you may not be able to clearly see a human silhouette or clearly be able to see the blaze orange or hunter's orange on your, on your person or the other people that are in the forest, especially on public lands. Because of that, it is still advisable to go hunting during the fog or during heavy rainstorms in the forests or even on the plains sometimes. Because of that, you may end up injuring one another or you may misidentify your quarry and place a bad shot or you might suffer a huge fine. Because some, some animals here in the state of Texas are protected and are not able to hunt, especially in certain counties and certain restrictions there apply, especially with certain forests. As well, here in the state of Texas, we have some game birds, and if you go out in the plains hunting them with a nice fog or a heavy rainstorm, they'll probably not drive out, and if you try shooting in the grass, you may shoot your dog or someone else's dog, or you may end up shooting a game animal that you probably shouldn't have been shooting at. In the fog, the birds will fly, but you may misidentify a good rooster for something else and shoot it and possibly get something else. Same thing with turkeys. You may misidentify a bronze winged turkey for a regular turkey or you may misidentify a standard, uh, I want to say a grouse. You may misidentify grouse for pheasant or you may identify a larger grouse for a small turkey not knowing. And if you shoot on the wing like that, having to rapidly lift, lift your gun and fire, it could be disastrous as well. Other possible difficulties is you might trip over something, hurt yourself, or you may get snagged on something. There's many things that can happen during a hunting trip, and especially during the fog. The fog, hunting during the fog is quite a dangerous activity. And there's so many variables that can happen and so many risk that factors it's best to wait for another day or wait later in the day when the fog is gone to go hunting it just depends on your local area and how long it lasts as well as how much sunlight you have you in all states as far as I'm concerned you have to hunt during legal sunlight hours during legal hours which is usually right around the crack of dawn or later here in Texas depending on the county it could be right at the crack of dawn, could be 10 minutes before, or it could be 30 minutes after the sunrise. Because of that, you have to take all those things into mind. It is best to not hunt during the fog and not hunt, hunt during heavy rainstorms, but to sit it out or wait it out until it passes so you can accurately, safely, and surely hunt and not hurt anyone, hurt yourself, trip over anything, or misidentify and injure an animal that's not a game species. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you took some of it to mind. And keep in mind, this video is for new hunters, young hunters, who are going out hunting for the first time, who probably didn't know this or didn't see this on their hunter's, hunter's education course video, or hunter's education course test. Because of that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Your likes and comments help me out a lot, as well as your subscriptions. Adios for now.